Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Um, another tutorial on Poly2, but this time I'm going to show you how to use Poly2 as a, an audio unit. Um, here we are on a UM, that is what I have open at the moment, which is my preferred host. Um, but you can apply the learning if you like on any other hosts, like for example, Cubases or GarageBand and so on and so forth. So first thing first, let's click on the plus sign to create a MIDI channel. Let's click on the plus under the MIDI channel. Let's select the audio MIDI unit MIDI processor and under that, let's scroll down and find poly MIDI by James Milton. So let's click on it. Next, let's create another channel. This time, let's select an audio channel. Let's click on the plus on the audio channel and let's uh, Hold and move down to scroll to reveal the search bar. Let's click on the search bar. And um, this time I'm going to search for Hill. In this case, I want to use Hillman. Okay, next let's compare the two. So let's click on here, left at uh, the left um, side of that um, of the Hillman uh, audio channel. Um, to reveal the options, let's connect the Poly 2 MIDI as a, a MIDI source, then let's scroll down here under uh, channel filter, let's select none to deselect all of them, and then let's select uh, only uh, MIDI, MIDI channel one. The reason for this is that um, uh, Poly 2 MIDI um, assign a MIDI channel for each track, but by default, every time you add an audio channel, that audio channel you're receiving on all 16 channels. So. Uh, to ensure that um, each track from Poly2 MIDI drives only one audio channel, you have to specifically filter that audio channel only. Otherwise, you will hear track one and track two uh, from Poly2 MIDI playing on all the different audio channels. So hopefully that uh, is straightforward. Next, let's click on Hellman and uh, let's activate the keyboard to hear the sound and this time we have strings that's okay for now so let's close that let's go inside poly 2 midi the first thing you notice compared to poly 2 midi as a, a standalone version is that the number of icons have disappeared so in this example, for example, um, in this case, for example, you don't have access anymore to the mixer or to the effects or to the sampler section because you're not sample uh, any more sounds uh, from the internal engine of Poly 2, but you're actually driving MIDI signals to the other audio channel inside the AUM. Um, so if you um, want to change the configuration on how poly2 drives uh, midi signals click here on the settings click on midi and then and then here you can see track out and you can see for track one we are using channel one track two channel two etc etc there are a lot of options here which you can send you can set okay at your own leisure and uh, you can also set uh, um, command control out and what those are in terms of uh, CC numbers, in this case for reverb, for delays, etc., and so on and so forth. Okay, so also here, what has changed is that you don't have any more um, a play and stop button, but you have an auto play button, and of course, you can switch that from auto play or being triggered by MIDI. Okay, let's leave it on auto play now. So let's select the first track in red here and let's also activate the grid here and let's create a node somewhere like so and let's click play on AUM. Of course, you can still act on some of the um, changes on some of the parameters here, but I find that it is actually better 
to use uh, uh, directly uh, the volume inside the each uh, well, assigned to each channel. So, for example, in this case, if I want to adjust the volume uh, for Hellman, I would just adjust it here outside directly on the channel instead of doing it from Polychi MIDI. Um, it works precisely as the standalone, so you can, for example, click on the keyboard again, and at the, this time is actually going through a random sequence. Let's again create a small sequence of um, uh, four steps, and let's assign uh, a C to the first one, a B flat to the second one, a G to the third one, and a B flat to the fourth one. Uh, and let's click play. Now I want to show you some additional option which I didn't show uh, in the first Poly2 uh, video or tutorial. So if you click on this icon here, which stands for pitch repeat, now it says the note are repeated only once. If I click on this part of the circle, I click and hold, or I'll touch and hold, and then I shift up, let's say two. Now the notes are repeated two twice. Let's try. Okay, that's good. Now let's add another audio channel. Let's click on that. On the add in the channel again on the audio for another audio channel. Then let's click on the plus sign again. Um, touch and hold and scroll down to reveal the search. Search again for Elman because I want to use these again. Similar thing to what we have done before. We uh, click on the left hand side of that audio channel on the icon. We select Poly2 Media as a media source. Then we deactivate all the channel MIDI channels and we activate only the second channel. So in this case, uh, these audio channel will receive or accept MIDI messages from Poly2 only on channel number two. So now uh, let's set uh, a different sound. Um, let's activate the keyboard um, on the second audio channel. Let's select, for example, bass. Okay, that will do. Let's go back to Poly2 MIDI. Let's select the second track, which will be sending MIDI messages from channel number two. And let's click uh, somewhere to create uh, another note for that particular track. And let's click play. As you heard, I actually decreased the octave, uh, so the messages which uh, the MIDI messages which are sent out uh, will be lowered by two octave. Okay, this sounds um, really good. So let's add the third instance of Hellman. Again, we add another audio channel, and we click on that audio channel. We uh, scroll down to reveal the search bar. We search again for Hellman. Here we are. Again, similar way, we assign poly two media as a MIDI source, and then we make sure that only the third MIDI channel is selected for this uh, third audio uh, instance of Elman. We select a different uh, uh, preset, so we activate again the keyboard to hear it. This time, let's select, um, for example, pad, a flutis. Sounds good. Let's go back to um, Poly2 MIDI. Let's click on the third track. Here we are. And let's create um, <clears throat> a quick track. So we create a node closer to the center. Okay, and let's click play. OK, 
okay now with that node selected let's go to the keyboard symbol and um, this time let's select additional node like so and um, let's click play it will randomize between the c the b flat the f g a flat and b flat so let's click play <laughs> Okay, let's add um, now a different instance. For example, let's add another audio channel. This time, let's search for uh, synth um, master for synth master player. So this is the fourth uh, channel. So let's connect it to Poly2 MIDI as a MIDI source. Let's filter again all the channel. Make sure that only channel four is selected. Uh, this time let's uh, click here on the bar for the preset um, now we click on the search bar and let's uh, search for a uh, hat um, and let's try some of them let's activate the keyboard perhaps this one is good um, let's go back to poly MIDI, select the fourth track, here we are, and uh, let's create another node somewhere there, and let's click play. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is another way to use Poly2 um, as a audio unit. And as you can see, it's very straightforward and uh, you just need to remember to set correctly in the configuration of the MIDI channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.